Yo, what's up guys, it's Retro Draft. Hopefully everyone's doing well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for today's video, as the title suggests, we'll be looking at this right here. It is a full case of the mini tins from Celebrations. And I actually love the little, I guess, design element of this, how it features these, where they all kind of like connect together. So looking forward to putting the art cards together. But let's take all the tins out. So starting off, we have Gen 1, which is Kanto, featuring Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, featuring a little Pikachu tail right there. Next, we have Gen 2, Johto, which is Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. Gen 3 is Hoenn, featuring Trico, Mudkip, and Torchic. Gen 4 is Sinnoh, with Chimchar, Turtwig, and Piplup? I was about to say Primplup. Gen 5 is black and white, and that is Unova, I believe, featuring Snivy, Oshawott, and Tepig. This is Gen 6, which is Kalos, featuring Froki, Fennekin, and Chespin. Next is Gen 7 with Sun and Moon, so Rowlet, Piplup, no, Poplio, and Litten. And last but not least, we have Gen 8, which is Galar. We have Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. So here's all the tins right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually go from Gen 8 all the way to Gen 1. So let's get into the Sword and Shield tin. There we go. So we do have a Pikachu coin, very holographic, very shiny. On the back, it is just black Pokemon. We see the card right there. So I'm gonna add that to the side. We do get two celebrations and one darkness ablaze. And let's see what's in tin number one. Let's first start off with a celebrations pack and we'll put the darkness ablaze in between. So first pack we have a Cosmoem, a Xerneas, Kyogre, and a Fly Pikachu VMAX. There we go. We do have an airplane right there for the size comparison, but I feel like those balloons may not be enough, but very, very nice to pull in the first celebrations pack. And let's get into our Darkness of Blaze pack. So here's the code for you guys. Let's do four to the front. And for this pack, we have a Water Energy, Team Yellhorn, a Relicant, Soul Rock, Jigglypuff, Rowlet, Cupchu, a Aeron, Starly, a Reverse Toxapex, and a Mimikyu non hollow So here is the final pack for this tin. And for this pack, we have a Kyogre, a Cosmog. Ooh! Classic collection, Cleffa. Very, very nice. This is a huge nod to Neo Genesis. And behind it, we have a Zacian. V. All right, let's move on to Gen 7, which is Sun and Moon, which is the Lola region, which was based off of Hawaii, but we do have another coin, another card, and this one features basically the same art on the tin. And again, we do have two celebrations and one darkness of blaze. So here is a code for the first celebrations pack, and we have a Groudon, a Cosmog, a Palkia, and a Professor's Research. Very nice. So moving on to a Darkness of Blaze pack, here is the code, and let's do four to the front. So we have a Metal Energy, a Ursa Ring, Shenotic, Rose Tower, Toxel, a Sinus T, Carablast, Meltan, Marini by Komiya, gotta love it, a Steeny Reverse, and a Galarian Slowbro V. Basically Mega Man, in my opinion. And now let's get into our Celebrations pack. Here's a code, and for this pack we have a Palkia, a Ho-Oh, Xerneas, and a Solgaleo. So nothing too crazy from that pack. Next we have Gen 6, which is Kalos, I believe. I haven't played Gen 5 and 6, so I really had little to no knowledge of this uh, generation, but Another coin, another artwork of the starters right there. And we do have the same packs, so let's get right into it. I still haven't completed my celebration set yet, so hopefully these tins can help me, I guess, get closer to that goal. So we have a Cosmoem, a Groudon, Kyogre, and a Zamazenta V, which isn't bad. Here's a code, and I feel like it's such a shame how Darkness of Blaze is like the set rather that's like not really wanted anymore because I feel like people are kind of getting tired of Darkness of Blaze since it's in like everything. But give it like a year and people will be like, oh yeah, I like that set, or I remember like liking that set. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's always how it is, like even like with evolutions, but I guess time will tell. We have a Reverse Toxel and a Arctivish non. Hello, can we get a classic card, please? So we have a Cosmoem, Xerneas. Oh, that is 
That caught me off guard so much, but geez, the hollow pattern on this one is insane. But we got a Reshiram Full Art. You can't even like, make out the Pokemon because the glitter, like the confetti pattern is crazy. But we do have a Reshiram Full Art from the black and white set. Huge throwback to, I believe these were like one of like the first Full Arts. And behind it, we have a Professor's Research. But let's take a closer look at this card. The hollow pattern. It's so weird how it's like a fire Pokemon, but it's like all white. But yeah, so clean. I like the blue hits and the shadows and stuff. Let's move on to Gen 5, which is Unova. So as always, we'll be getting the Pikachu coin right here, the art card, and our three packs. I'm curious to know, have you guys finished your celebration set, like both like the classic and the regular set? Because I feel like the set, since it's so small, at least like the regular, it's very easy to complete. And we have a Zacian V. So yeah, I feel like it's relatively easy to complete the regular, but I know that Golden Mew, I still get to pull that, so hopefully within these tins we can pull that. But also, I guess you can buy the cards outright because the prices of them came down a lot. And as always, gotta mention the English QC because it is just atrocious. But anyways, we have a Fire, Combuskin, Glenwood Tangle, a Lanron, Spinarak, Bounce Sweet, Dunsparce, Electrike, Galarian Mr. Mime, a Reverse Toxapec, that's like our second one, and a Galarian Darmanitan. Here is the code card, and for this pack we have a Palkia, Reshiram, ooh, Luxray GL level X or something? But this one features Volkner, or basically Minato from Naruto, <laughs> but we got a Luxray level X. Man, that is so clean. Don't know what set that is, but I'll probably put it on screen somewhere. I'm actually a big fan of this confetti pattern. I know that there was like a beta like test sheet that was printed at Watsi a long time ago. But to see that pattern on like an actual card, like for the celebration set, is pretty cool. But Luxray GL level X, hopefully I'm saying that right. And behind it we have a Solgaleo. So those are two that I didn't have, so that's very good news. Moving on to Sinnoh, which we're halfway through. Same thing as always, so we have a coin, the art card, and three packs. I'm gonna try to breeze through this because my camera battery is actually getting low, so let's try to just see what we can get in this pack, nothing, great. Go for the Darkness of Blaze pack, forward to the front, and for this one we have a Psychic, Corvus Squire, Lunatone, Struggle Gloves, Jigglypuff, or Jigglypuff rather, Ducklet, Carablast, Darmaka, Larvitar, Big Parasol Reverse, and a Hippowdon non hollow Here is a code for the Celebrations Pack, and this one we have... Uh, Zamazenta V. Not too exciting there. Moving on to Gen 3, which is Hoenn, which features, again, the coin, the art card, and obviously the three packs. Here's a code. And for this pack, we have a Cosmog, Zekrom, Holo, and a Soul. So the camera battery died for both cameras actually, so I had to wait like 30, 40 minutes to charge both of them up. Before that Darkness of Blaze pack, we did get a Reverse Tox or Marini, and a King's Con Holo. And now we're moving on to this right here, our Celebrations pack. So here is the code card. Yeah, let's get right into it. So we have a Palkia, a Cosmo, Garchomp C level X. All right, so are we getting like all the level Xs? I love how they incorporate these like gym leader portraits like right there next to the Pokemon. Like huge not back to like gym heroes, gym challenge. Love the silver border around these level X cards. Even like the X right there is gold with like the confetti pattern. Don't know what set this is from because I believe it was like diamond and pearl black and white era. So it didn't really collect during that time. And behind it, we do have a Solgaleo. But yeah, I guess we're getting all the level X cards from these tins. So let me sleeve this bad boy up. And there we have it. All right, so how many tins do we have left? We have Gen 2 and Gen 1. So let's get into our Johto tin, which is my favorite era. Here is the coin and our little art card right here. This is so cute. And as always, we do have our two celebrations and our Darkness of Blaze pack. So here is the code. And for this pack, we have... Okay. So we are getting doubles right away. So, so far we pulled 
our second Luxray GL Level X card with Minato right there. And behind it, we have a Surfing Pikachu V. I will take a Full Art V card. So we are getting into our first double for the Classic Collection. And let's get into our Darkness Ablaze. Here is a code, and let's do the card trick. And for this pack, we have a Dark Energy, Gotharita, Clang, Vanillish, Rowlet, Kupchu, a Aeron, Starly. It's like the same cards. Purloin, a Morlul Reverse, and a Vanillix Non Hollow. And moving on to the last pack, or last celebrations pack of this tin. Here is a code for you guys, and let's get into this one. Palkia, Cosmog, and a Professor's Research. Okay, so it all boils down to where it all started. Gen 1, Kanto, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, and the Pikachu's tail right there. This is our 8th coin and also our eight card right there, and our final three packs. So let's get it into celebrations first. Here is a code, and for this one we have a Dialga, Zekrom, Yveltal, and a Mew. I'll take all the Mews. Love the Mew card from celebrations. And getting into our Darkness Ablaze pack, forward to the front, and for this one we have a Metal by Brava, Cape of Toughness, Spike Muth, a Galarian Mr. Mime, Rookie D, Tauros, Snubble, Marie by Sal Sal, a Carablast, and a Charizard V. How fitting for it to come from a Kanto tin. I'll take that Charizard V from Darkness Ablaze. I think this one will be definitely have to sleeve up, so very nice hit right there. And let's get into the final pack. So here's a code for you guys, and for this last pack, we have a Lugia, Groudon, Xerneas EX. All right, what a way to end, and let's just see what's behind it. We have a Flying Pikachu V. I'll take that, but Xerneas EX from the XY set, XY base, um, but yeah. I believe this card was playable, which is why it was reprinted in the Classic Collection. I feel like the only, like, confetti pattern you see is on the EX right there and also like maybe like this bottom text right here but overall it's a pretty like muted card but then again there's like so much color going around it it is a very clean card to say the least ton of texture i don't know if you guys can see it so yeah we got a good amount of classic cards from these eight tins without further ado let's get into our shiny star v pack for those that are new i am opening one shiny star v pack in every video to look for the elusive morning full art card so i'm hoping that within these series of videos that i can eventually pull that card um also with shiny star v prices coming down a bit becomes a lot more accessible for me to i guess open the product so we have a Sword and Shield advertisement with Sobble on the back. And for this one, we have a Galarian Zigzagoon, a Qfint, a Snom, Sin no, Poltergeist, a Rusted Shield, Arctovish, a Duraludon Hollow, a Marnie. Can we get the Marnie Full Art? Oh, okay, so we have a Dragapult VMAX, and we have another Poltergeist Reverse Hollow. And for our clear file of the day, it's not really a clear file per se, but this is like a translucent card that you can get from the Pokemon Center. But this one features Snorlax, it has Mew, Pikachu, Eevee, Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. But they're all like playing in the field. I think it's so cute. So this is, I really don't know the technical term, but I'm just gonna call it a postcard. And I will look at what this little promotional campaign was, but yeah, so we have this one right here. It is from the Pokemon Center, as you can see right there. I got this within that huge mail day of like clear files and stuff like that. But here it is. So yeah, that is what we're going to end the video off with. Sorry for the mishap with the battery dying, but hopefully you guys still did enjoy this video. If you guys like this content, then please like and subscribe. It really means a lot. We're on the road to 1K subs. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate everyone who watches my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.